Don't you just love a nice sunny day? Well, sun on the skin is so much more important than what you might think. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sarah Bennett. I am a licensed naturopathic physician and co-founder of Natural MedDoc. I am going to talk to you today about vitamin D, deficiency, toxicity, and diseases that it might relate to. Below in the description, I have listed out each topic with a timestamp. So if you would like to jump ahead, feel free, do that. Also, if you're really interested in this topic, I have written a detailed blog article which I have on my website. If you're listening from YouTube, there is a link to that article right below. If you're not listening from YouTube, go to Natural Med Doc and subscribe. All right, so let's get started. What is vitamin D? Vitamin D is an essential vitamin that is synthesized through our skin from exposure to the sun, more specifically UVB rays. So, what does vitamin D do for us? Vitamin D is most important for our bones and bone health. It helps specifically with the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from our GI system, but it also is linked to so much more. It helps us with proper immune system. It helps with energy. It helps us with proper weight. It helps us have a good mood. So really, it's essential. Vitamin D is very, very important for, for optimal health but so many people suffer from vitamin D deficiency, more specifically about 1 billion people worldwide. Why is this the case? Why are so many people deficient? It's because we're living inside most of the time, not getting that sun on our skin. And when we do, we're wearing sunscreen, which blocks this conversion to vitamin D. Also, if there's any pollution, or let's say we're not at the proper latitude, longitude, and elevation, we don't naturally synthesize the way that we should. So yes, a lot of us are vitamin D deficient. And what does that mean? It means we're fatigued, it means we're depressed, it means we're overweight, it means we have poor immune function, and more. So who's experiencing any of this? I know I used to. It's really easy to check. Go get vitamin D levels run. Talk to your local naturopathic doctor or call today, schedule with me, and I'll get it taken care of. So in addition to vitamin D deficiency, you can actually have the reverse, vitamin D toxicity. Much less people experience this, and this is because usually it comes from overdosing and supplementation. The reason you can get vitamin D toxicity is because vitamin D is a lipid solu soluble vitamin. It will naturally build up in your system. Generally, this only happens from overdosing. So that means once you're supplementing, your dose is too high for you, causing you to have some toxicity symptoms. So what does that look like? You would become nauseous, maybe even vomit, have appetite loss, and what I would see on labs is that your calcium and liver enzymes start to move out of range. So it's really not a good thing. So this is why it's very, very, very important to work with your practitioner to find the dose that's appropriate for you and to maintain a really optimal healthy level. In addition to experiencing those symptoms of fatigue, weight gain, poor mood, it's important to, it's important to correct these because it's also associated with so, so many diseases. So severe deficiency in vitamin D in children actually leads to rickets. That's basically having soft bones, poor calcification, poor growth. But it's not just children. It's related to osteoporosis, meaning the breakdown of bones. Um, usually in older age, it can lead to fractures, increased mortality. It's linked to cancer. It's linked to cardiovascular disease. It's linked to, to developing autoimmune disease. So it's more than just fatigue and obesity, it's really preventing additional diseases that you don't want. So if you are deficient, how do you address this? Well, it's only minimally absorbed from our food, which you can find it in beef, liver specifically, egg yolks, and mushrooms. But you really don't get a good amount that way. So really, the recommendation is supplementation. 
vitamin B3 specifically. So another thing you need to know is that there's two main forms of vitamin D. Vitamin D3, which is what mammals primarily produce, the active form, from exposure to sun. Vitamin D2, on the other hand, is primarily made from plants. And we don't use it as readily. So really, we found that the same dose of vitamin D3 is way more potent than the same dose of vitamin D2. So this is why I recommend that you get a really great supplement of vitamin D3. I actually have my personal favorite linked below. Um, it's also linked in my article if you're looking for more information on this. All right, so in summary, basically vitamin D is so important. So many people experience vitamin D deficiency and need this to be corrected. And it's also linked to so many diseases that start to develop over time if you don't correct that. So go in, get your levels checked, give me a call. On top of it, if you're interested in really optimizing your how you feel and eliminating pain and just feeling your best, go to my website and check out my new book.